um, hopefully this will entertain you guys again and hopefully some of you guys the aquaponics um, enthusiasts out there uh, hopefully this will be a big help or just an entertainment hey guys what's up this is Ron uh, for those that just tune in thank you guys very much uh, hopefully this um, segment or vlog of mine will entertain you for the time being but in a way I just want to make content about the aquaponics since I did a vlog about it the Alberta tilapia aquaponics if you guys haven't check that out please do check it out it's really nice content and uh, lots of information that they shared with me but in a way I was um, doing some research on airlift uh, for well this is really useful for those small-scale aquaponic and the reason for that is that um, cost-effective okay this is very cost-effective because you're just using an air pump to lift your water okay so your air pump is your water pump as well if that makes sense <laughs> okay so enough with the talk let's get to the project and this is how I did it okay so let's get to it
the first try, Dave. So yeah. this is our hmm. pump. Supposedly, then this is just a four feet high. So it can into there. Yep. That's quite tiny. Yep. Hold on to it. Yeah. I'm just gonna get the air pump going. It's even taller than me. Yep, and hopefully <laughs> it could go higher. So this is where that goes. This is the air that flows into it. Yep. It will go two separate ways, from the top to the bottom. Yeah, and if you could put it here, Inside? and just point it that way. Ooh, there's water coming out. Or air. Hopefully that's not a problem. Let's see. First try, watch out. Can you point? Can you go stand over here? No, stand over here, yeah. at the back. There you go. Then point it, you have to point it this way. Okay, let's see if this will work. And I'm gonna open it. And there's air coming out. It's just that there's air coming out of here. I have to fix that. Okay, let's start it off. Maybe the water is not that high enough. Hold on. Hmm. I don't know. We'll try it again. That's how it that's how it goes. Okay, attempt number two. Or you wanna plug that one in? Okay. You'll be the okay. okay, put it closer a little bit. There you go. Okay, let's try it. Yeah, turn it on. Open. Yep. Nothing, there's nothing coming. Well, there's water coming up. There's no bubbles. It's rising, it's rising. Okay. I don't know if the water is high enough though. God damn, it's raining! Is it? It is. Okay, so the small bucket doesn't work, so we're gonna try the garbage can. Um, it seems it might be the water level of the tank or whatever you the basin that you're gonna have the water in, but it's kind of gonna it's kind of raining already, so hopefully we could get this to go and uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. So, um, this is the well. This is trial three. I was um doing some s modification onto it. Uh, unfortunately, it seems that there's uh, not enough water coming through the bottom. So I took up the cover at, right there, and <sighs> there should there you go. Woohoo! It's not much, but it's it's doing it. There you go. <laughs> it does work. Unfortunately, um, they're saying that the water should be deeper, so uh, or higher. The water should be higher. I'm gonna try one that is a one four. So I just need to buy some materials, and I'm gonna do that. It's amazing though, eh?
So this is the air pump 2.014 PVC. Okay, put that in. Get the air pump, babe. Yeah, we'll go Okay. Alright. Well, you gotta turn it on, don't you? Okay, then. And motor started. And yeah. then, two, one. Other way. It's coming. That's just amazing. Can you, can you use a bucket? There you go. No? So this is higher. So if I lower this down a bit and cut it in half, this will work. Isn't that wild? So I cut it in half. Let's see, Dave. Turn it on. Much smaller. Yeah, but it pumps it way more efficient. Right? Because it, the air is not breaking up underneath the water, so yeah. it pushes it. So the thing about this, though, it aerates the water while it's doing it. Yeah. See, if you wanted to get really low tech, you could take another hose, do that thing here, have a collector, and yep. do another one. And have it. So one air pump like this drives it five times up. Hey David, let's try the small one. Uh, let's try that. Turn it on. Let's try the other one. The black one now? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay. Yeah, plug let's it try in. that one. Oh, there you go. Right? Yeah. See, much better with the black one. Hang on, I just want to try one other thing. Put that there. No, no, leave that there. Oh. Oh! Yep. Okay, hold that, David. I'll plug it back in and you steer it in. Right. And there we go. Gotta move Too the far. bucket back. <laughs> that moves a lot of water. That it's it's there. But like like a half of <laughs> it works. But this bigger one is hold on. You want no, to let's, try the small one? No 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 hold on. Okay, turn it off. Cause this now will make Oh. Well, that's smaller. Well, it it helps it to draw better. It is saying that there's more pressure that you build up if you put a small piece like this on it. Because there's like, it yeah. acts like a air stone. Yeah. Okay, now um, let's do that one. Okay, steer it, David. You ready? Interesting. But see how it pushes it spur further? Yeah. Because there's lots more pressure on the water. Yeah. Or, or yeah. there's... Okay, we should go. Before yeah. it goes back. Shut that off. Hi. All right, guys. So I put on the small air lift here just to aerate the trout um, bin or the trout aquarium because uh, they love running water so much so what I did is I just put an elbow over there I put an elbow there and this one so that it's a little bit of a silencer I put an end cap with a hole on it so it doesn't make that chug, 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 chug sound <laughs> so pardon for my sound effect but yeah um, it seems it's working very well I just need to find a way to make it stand and what but in a way it it works very well because um, it moves the water from this area to that area so that the um, overflow could take the, um, the solids 
to the uh, filter over there but in a way eh, I like I love it very much um, it's been successful and uh, yeah definitely I'm gonna be doing this back in the Philippines I'm just gonna put this to a wrap uh, everything's good um, hopefully this will entertain you guys again and hopefully some of you guys the aquaponics um, enthusiast out there uh, hopefully this will be a big help or just an entertainment all right guys see you guys in the next vlog this is Ron again peace out deuces